I'm Peter Bregan. I'm a psychiatrist, and this is one in my series of simple truths about psychiatry. I've already talked to you about stimulant drugs for children, and now I want to talk to you about ADHD or attention deficit disorder. But first, remember that stimulant drugs don't cure anything, they don't fix anything, they don't improve anything. They cause biochemical imbalances in the brain that make children docile, that take away their spontaneity and make them obsessively focus on things that they don't care about. There's no evidence that stimulant drugs improve anything past the first few weeks when they subdue behavior. There's no improvement in academic performance, social life, how people feel about themselves, sports. These drugs should not be given to children. That's the vast weight of scientific evidence that you can find in my books like Psychiatric Drug Withdrawal and Brain Disabling Treatments in Psychiatry. But now let's go on to what is ADHD. I want you to imagine, you know, maybe in your late 20s or 30s that you went back to school. Was it fun? Do you remember going back to school and, and thinking, wow, it was great. Not too many of us think like that. In fact, let's suppose somebody said, you could have a six-figure salary for 20 years and retire. And all you would have to do is everything you did in school. You would just sit all day long in hard chairs with a desk in front of you. You'd have one person teaching you all day long. You'd have to raise your hand to go to the bathroom. You wouldn't be able to socialize. Would you do that for 20 years, even for a good retirement? You see, ADHD is about what we're trying to make our children do that they're not comfortable, willing, or able to do. If you look in the diagnostic manual for what are the criteria for ADHD, they're about kids who are uncomfortable in class. The criteria include things like fidgeting in chair, squirming in chair, uh, cutting off the teacher to answer questions before she's finished asking them, not standing in line, being too active. What happened is that the drug companies actually created the diagnosis ADHD to sell it to teachers and say, we have a medication that will get rid of all your difficulties in your classroom. They held workshops. They worked through the Department of Education to do it. Now, is ADHD a disease? Well, it can't be a disease. Because think about it. What might make a child, say, fidget in class or be hyperactive in class or interrupt the teacher? Why, it could be almost anything. It could be that the child's behind in class and uneasy and anxious because they can't keep up. It might be that the child's the opposite of that, that the child's way ahead of class, that the child's thinking about things far beyond what's going on in the classroom and is bored. It could be that the teacher is boring. Well, maybe the teacher's been depressed for years. Maybe the teacher doesn't know how to have moral authority, get the kids to quiet down and listen to her. Or maybe the child's going through a divorce at home and is just anxious and fidgety and nervous and needy. Or maybe the child's malnourished. Maybe the child has an underlying problem like head injury from sports. Because that can give you all the same kinds of activities. In other words, this list of behaviors doesn't mean anything. In my experience, it means A, the parents aren't disciplining the child properly. And within minutes in my office, the child's quieted down because I'm giving intense attention, really caring about the child, and I'm interested in what the child has to say. And the parents learn how to engage the child right in front of their eyes. Or the child doesn't have any problem at all, but school is boring. I've even seen children turn around overnight with a change of teacher. So ADHD is not a disease, it's not a disorder. But once you start giving a child drugs for ADHD, you create all kinds of diseases and disorders. Children get depressed on the drugs, they get psychotic on the drugs, they lose weight, get skinny, weakened and fatigued on the drugs. 
They lose interest in socializing on the drugs, which is one of the main effects that the teachers often see as positive because the kid's not trying to socialize in class anymore. Let me say in a word, there's no disorder, there's no disease. The drugs just flatten spontaneous behavior. The great news is, is that if your child has ADHD-like symptoms, your child is almost certainly either perfectly normal and bored in school or needs his parents to learn to discipline him better while also providing unconditional love. Read my book, Talking Back to Ritlin, or the Ritlin Fact Book. You'll find everything I'm saying is documented with dozens of references, and you'll find better approaches to helping your child be the normal kid he really is. Thank you.